Hello everybody, welcome back to another Train Sim World 4 video. We are back on. Um, it's quite a nice scene, isn't it? We've got a set right in front. We've got the Dosto there, the sun's out, we've got the mountains in the background there. Can we just look at this for the whole video? This is quite nice. No, let's uh, let's get out of pic uh, picture mode. Um, and let's get the doors open and get driving. We're heading up to Rosenheim or Rosenheim on this. I want to service up from... Oh, oh this is just his print GMC2. Rosenheim, some sort of, I mean, it's not in peak time either. I don't know, it's some sort of shuttle service between the two places. How often does this happen? What's the next one after this? This can't be right, can it? There goes uh, one, 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 triple one, coming in. I don't know, what RB are we? What RB59412? So yeah, it's just an extra service from this station. Um, that's already set to Rosenheim. Brake key, we'll do that. Uh, headlights, that's fine. That, that's all fine as it is. Uh, safety systems, if I can find them, they're here, aren't they? Uh, signal lights as well, they're already on headlights. CIFA, as annoying as it is, we'll get it on. Uh, PZB. Oh, why is PZB on this one? So we've driven this train for years on, uh, on Train Sim World. Oh, there it is there, PZB. Ooh. Cool. Well, there's no cars on it, but there goes uh, a freight train. That's pretty cool. I love, I love, uh, this route's great. Um, I love German freight as well. German freight is awesome. There it goes. Um, right. Now this is the um, Salzburg Rosenheim variant of this train as well, so I don't know if there are actually any differences to it. Um, that's as we'll see as we go along. Twelve five, great. Uh, lights apparently already on. Yeah, I mean that's one of the weird things about this game on TSW four. Even the the lights are on, but it just doesn't particularly look like it. I suppose yeah, it is daytime, you've got the daylight coming in, but I'm, I'm pretty certain train, train lights tend to be a little bit brighter than how they're depicted on here. Uh, still got the red, so there's no point closing the doors yet. We shall wait. Uh, we've got Bad Endorf and then Rosenheim in about 20 minutes. So it's uh, a relatively straightforward journey. Just got to wait the signal. Unless we're waiting for another train. Where are we? We're there. So maybe this came up this branch, maybe. Must have. Unless it generally just terminates here. You know what? I'm going to close the doors and see if that signal changes. Because I'm pretty certain that freight train should be a bit further ahead by now. So we'll just close the doors and see if that... Okay, no, okay, it's, it's, uh, it's as it is. What on earth are we waiting for? Is it still the freight train we're waiting for? That must be, yeah, I mean, the signal block's quite big. Because on the older TSW route, sometimes you have to sort of activate the objective for the, to, the, for the signal to change. Which doesn't tend to happen nowadays. It does on Blackpool, on Blackpool branches it does happen. So I only have sort of a few routes. That's it, that's an age, isn't it? That train is... I mean, it's getting there. As we wait here at Prim Chimsy. At least the sun's out. Oh, unless we're waiting for something to come in. No, we wouldn't be waiting for another train, would we? No, nothing's really coming that way. Not for a while yet. There we go, we've got the green. Right, get the door shut. So that's forward, let's get going. If I've set it up correctly, there we go. Uh, do we need the HUD on? Not really. Might be worth having it on. Uh, we'll keep the HUD on. I was saying I do actually have the um, the ebula for this route, so we might not actually need it. Um, yeah, as we head out of here, just 
just going to try and find that document it got sent to me a little while ago uh, that one uh, Cifa, yes, you want to get in on the action here we go let's see, uh, that's the wrong way Salzburg, Rosenheim, there we go ok, well, we'll, we'll use that uh, hopefully I can leave this link in the uh, in the chat or in the description, it might work it may work off we go though, so we are, we just left the Prien MGMZ, so the speed limit at the moment is 130, and it should go to 110, possibly already, well we'll go up to 110, uh, Bad Endorf is at marker 16, 16.6, so we've got a little bit yet to go, yeah 16.6 is uh, is bad end off, so we'll start slowing down at about 17. Right, post that. According to this, well, quite soon actually, it will be coming down. There you go, there's the warning board. It's nice, isn't it? It's pleasant coming along here. So, yeah, bad end off at 16.6. That's all I really need to know for now. It's 110 basically until then. Well, there is a 100 as well, but that's a bit further up. Yeah, it's E30, yeah, alright, there we go. Hopefully, that freight train will get out of our way as well. Should do. Let's go ahead and watch it go past. So, that's a pretty route though. <laughs> back there as well. Brilliant isn't it? Brilliant. Right, let's whack that up a bit, bit of sea as well. That's 21.6 there, so we're still a, a way off yet. So I'll get that. But yeah, how's everybody getting on with this route? Now it's been out a few days. Um, Hey, maybe you've got it, maybe you've seen the videos and you're like, oh, I don't know about that. Um, this better not be bad, Endorf, coming up now. Well, some sort of town coming up. Uh, that's just a little good side. And, but yeah, how's everybody finding the route? If you've got it, and if you haven't got it, what do you think of it? Is it your cup of tea? Is it a bit like... Nah, is it a bit like, wow, I need that. And I suppose if you're not really into German stuff, but you do like the look of the route, it's not usually that long and things are on sale. So if you're not really too tempted by it, but you're well, sort of on, on the fence, just wait for a sale. It's not going anywhere. at the 17 board will start slowing down and thanks again to SNCF our, our, one of our moderators who's actually whipped up the um, Ebula sheet which the Ebula would be on there that's where it should be but we still don't have it in the game I, I don't know how we haven't got it in the game yet but uh, it's like GSMR on UK trains it's just a bit bewildering well not bewildering but it's just surprising that we haven't it's not in the game yet Even if it doesn't work 100% as it should in real life, at least just to see it there. Even if it's in the format which I'm reading off my um, PC, so it works literally just a list and I scroll down to see. Uh, even if it was like that on there, that'd be okay, that'd be a start. See if that. Right, that's 17.8. So the station's about well a kilometre away, but you remember the platforms are really really long, so that could be halfway down the platform or so. We have to bear that in mind. 
much better driving from the Dosto in there, much more chilled out as opposed to in the triple one, which is a bit of a pain to drive. There's the 100, and well, here's the station. So I suppose it probably measures it from the end of the platform. Well, see, the platform's just really long, <laughs> so we can still actually come to a stop in time. Start taking the brakes off. So let's just let it come to a stop. I mean, yeah, obviously slightly quick break in, but um, yeah, the platforms are just mega long on this route. There's no stop marker either, so it doesn't really matter where we stop. That's probably pretty decent now, actually. Look at that. In fact, let's get a little uh, screenshot whilst, whilst we're at it. Oh, why have you gone all blurry? Wait, autofocus. I'm starting to use the autofocus a bit more now. I'm starting to. It's starting to actually be quite helpful. So it does the job for me and does it sometimes in a better way. Cool. Uh, right, we're due out of here. Well, we're on time, so that's good. So the speed limit out of here is 100. Then it goes up to 110, then up to 140. And Rosenheim is at distance marker zero. So as we're at 70, it's 17 kilometres. So it's a bit of a gap to the next station. And that is the next station, as long as no other station in between. No, 16 kilometres. Or 16.6 .6 kilometres. Okay, 15, a little bit off, but probably because that's from maybe the start of the platform or whatever. Right, um, let's get going. Yeah, I'll try and link the document if anybody wants to use it. I suppose in the Dosta you don't have to worry about the locomotive running up really too much, do you? Because, well, it, yeah, you don't have to worry about o overdoing it, basically. I don't know if it sort of automatically regulates it. <laughs> it's just much more chilled out driving this. A little branch line up there. Why not trains go up there? Up to 110. And quick as we uh, continue our journey on well, this fairly long stretch over to uh, Rosenheim. Yeah, it's a nice service for IC on this route. I mean, basically, any, anywhere from 15 minutes up to uh, well, anywhere from one minute. Um, but yeah, there's a there's quite a lot of services are about 20 minutes, and you've sort of got the freight services and quicker services, which are sort of anywhere from 45 to an hour, and then the slow services, which are about an hour and 15 minutes. So you get a nice variety. I think it's just the first time we've seen Dostos in TOD4. As I was reading the Dresden, that's TOD4 now, isn't it? Uh, and Castle Versberg. Did that have Dostos on it? Or Dostos you could drive? Not with on. Don't think within the route. So I think this is the first German route, sort of new German route, which does have Dostos sort of included with it. Yeah, Bremen Oldenburg didn't. Um, just want to think of routes which have released uh, German ones. So, yeah, we had the Rauberg, but I don't think the Dossos were included on that. Yeah, Bremen Oldenburg, Niedertalbahn, they weren't on there. So, I think this is possibly the first route where Dossos have actually been, you know, in the base included. Back again. Again. But I suppose if they realistically run on this route, can't really complain. They've got a 
nice lake over there to the left. Right, let's have a look. So we're at 12.4 here, right here. 12.4. So fairly soon we'll be coming up to a 140 limit. That's at 10.9. That'll be nice. So we've got about one kilometre and we can speed up to 140. You'll see it's still 110 at the moment. Yeah, 110. I don't know, the crossing's just about going down. So that must be some sort of issue. I say, oh, simply that lake coming down, but that would be quite close. 11.2. So we should have the 140. So it's probably just around this corner. Should see the 140. Or oh, near enough. Uh, there's 10.8. So I've read that incorrectly, but yeah, the 140 should be coming up. Should should be. Listen, CF, where's the 140? Hang on, have I read that incorrectly? 140, 10.9. Yeah, this is 10.2. Unless it has already gone up. No, this is where this is going to be 140 here. Look at this. In fact, I think we must have missed the water. We must have missed the speed box. So that's that's going to be a warning there for the 110. Yeah, that's a warning for the 110. So it's already 140. Unless maybe there's not a speedboard for it. Which, if there isn't, that must be missing. Well, we we'll get that up to 140. This lasts until basically we get a warning board. So until 3.8. So we've got about seven kilometres at 140. Which is nice. Almost at 140. Let's bring back the power a little bit. And we get a little fly by shot. We go ahead a bit more. Probably get Sifa going off as well. There you go. There's Sifa. Joining in on the fun. It's nice. I do like the 111. It's nice to look at, but tedious to drive. So I said about 24 minutes. This was it 24, 21, 21 minutes possibly. Which yeah, seems about right. <coughs> I'm sort of just looking through the timetable, looking for different services, not like full line runs. Because full line runs take a while. And at some point we will do the DBBR 101 on this route. I don't know when, but at some point. So that has quite a few services on here. So that will be good to... Uh, I think, yeah, it's about 58 minutes in a 101. Maybe it's got the 103 as well. From Linker Reinstrecker, which comes on to here. Which just has a grand total of one service. Still good to see you. So I like the uh, little board there of the barriers that she hadn't gone down there. Slightly worrying. They had just about, <laughs> just about. These German crossings are dangerous. Right, so it should soon come down to 80, which I assume we're going to get a warning board for, which is right here. Right, we'll start popping that down. We've got 23 seconds. So maybe even a little bit quicker. Actually, I don't really want to upset PZB. It's not within my interest to. There we go. It's much nicer driving from this end though. Much easier. kilometre mark. So not that far off of a Rosenheim now. So I'm sort of coming into quite an industrial area, so probably on the outskirts. There's the 80. Yeah, this route looks stunning though. I don't know what, the, what I mean yeah they've just made the veg and foliage. It doesn't it doesn't grow in, in front of you. The render distance seems to be higher or sort of longer away. Um, even the overhead wires I'd say look that you can't see them loading in. 
So I don't know. So somehow they've increased the render distance on this route for overhead wires, foliage, vegetation, um, which is great. Well done, Dovetail. You've made the scenery look like, you know, like a TSG or Just Trains thing. It looks good, looks really good. Although, Ebula would have been cool. Especially as this is the first, oh, this is nice across here, first sort of proper German, I think this is the first. German DLC. We haven't had a German DLC, have we? We've had Vorarlberg. Yeah, Vra that's sort of Austria. That's Austria, though, isn't it? Austria. Um, slash a tiny bit of Germany. See, I think this is the first German route for Train Sim World 4, this DLC wise. So it would have been a good opportunity to get Ebula in. But it's not. Which is a bit of a shame. Speed limit has gone up to 100, but there's literally no point speeding up because Salzburg is coming up very soon. Which does make me think, oh, we're going to see working GSMR on the Goblin. My hopes for it are quite low. Even though we should, ideally, but yeah. To Rosenheim. Yeah, quite a junction station. It's got some sort of terminating service. Which I think is most of the. No. No, most of the services do continue on. But I think there are a few services which do actually terminate here. I think most go on towards Munich. Munich's basically an up sort of 80 kilometers uh, along. I'm sort of, yeah, 50 odd miles. I'm right the way over though. That was quite a nice little journey, a little uh, jolly along from Premier Chimsey. As we, yeah, we come into our final stop of Rosenheim. But thanks everybody for watching, if you have made it this far in the video. And uh, a big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us a key uh, to show off, which I would say is a pretty fantastic route. Um, and uh, as I said, I, I did get a key for it, but it generally is a good route. Scenery's good, lots of trains on it, but then there's a catch if you have the other DLCs. Uh, if not, you just get the triple one, the Dosto, the Talent one, and the 185. So you still get a fair amount of trains with it. It's a long route, scenery's good. Um, yeah, it's overall a good route. Probably dovetails best when it comes to sort of newer DLC. I'll say the last proper good German route, probably Riesa Dresden. I mean, Bremen Oldenburg, that was good, but it was really short. Um, but yeah, Riesa Dresden, that's with the last pretty good one. My scenery was also pretty decent as well. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it for me. Hopefully everybody has enjoyed this. I wonder what this one goes off to now. I wonder if it actually continues. Unless there's Rosenheim on there, but it might continue. What does it do? Where does it go after this? Eh, not too bad. 24 kilometers in 24 minutes. This then... Oh, wait a moment. Okay, so it probably goes to a yard somewhere or maybe goes off somewhere 
Um, but yeah, I hope everyone has enjoyed it. Links can be found in the usual places, Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. Apart from that, have a lovely rest of your day, and I hope to see you in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys. Thank you.